Well, good morning guys, um, and welcome back to the channel. Sunrise, uh, sunrise at Point Cartwright here on the Sunshine Coast. Uh, so I came up yesterday afternoon, stayed the night uh, back in town. I got up at uh, 4.30 a.m., got down here uh, at Point Cartwright to do a sunrise. And the reason I came and chose this uh, particular location is that when the tide's really low, it uh, reveals this really cool uh, shelf, rock shelf, with all these awesome uh, formations of rocks that are exposed once the uh, tides have gone out. Unfortunately, it's a little bit too far out for my liking, but I'm going to I'm going to work with that. Um, come all this way, about two hours from home, so I'm going to explore this uh, rock shelf here and um, see what sort of compositions I can get, what images I can come away with. Are the cloud the, it could have been a bit, bit more cloud, a bit better, but never mind. Like I said, I'm here now, and I'm going to work with these conditions. Uh, so the first uh, composition I've seen, I'm going to go down, just down by the uh, where the waves are crashing or breaking. There's this rock that looks like a finger going out. So I'm going to do a real long exposure and smooth the uh, ocean out. Problem is though, it's quite a heavy surf. In fact, there's a surfer out behind me here. I don't know why he's absolutely nuts. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get down, there's a rock that looks like a finger coming out, long exposure, classic sort of uh, seascape photo or image. So yeah, I'm going to do that one first, get that one in the bag, and see how the uh, sky produces all the clouds. I uh, might have to cut a lot of the sky if it's too dull, too, uh, well, no cloud at all. And also there's a lot of uh, rock pools around here that make some, uh, could make some interesting uh, abstract images. So uh, stick around, let's go take some shots. Yeah, so I've just been, uh, well, behind me here, down on the, f the finger, all that finger looking rock. So I'll chuck those images up. Obviously, uh, the sun's rising behind me, so you can't see, see the front of me. I'm gonna move on, see if I can get another image. And uh, chuck this image up for you now, let me know what you think. Let's go find something else to shoot. So I've set up my next shot. Like I was saying, um, get a lot of abstract shots here, which I might start looking for after this one. Uh, the clouds are dispersing on the horizon and I'm getting that kind of dirty looking sky. But like I was saying, you can get a lot of abstract shots. I've got this um, gutter here, little gutter of water leading you out. Uh, nothing too interesting out on the horizon there. So I might crop a lot of the sky out and just get more of this rock formation and the cr well, creek. Uh, the um, little uh, gutter of water running out, and out, out into the ocean, and um, I'm going to get this image. I'm having to use, uh, for the first time in a long time, uh, Softgrad ND8, uh, just to break that sky. Sometimes, you know, I could do two images uh, exposed for the sky and then do a foreground shot, but a lot, lot less mucking around in uh, post-processing if I do it this way. But yeah, I'm gonna set this up, go through it with you. So you set up, like I said, soft grad, ND8. Also got a polarizer on behind that. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So 
There's that little gutter I was talking about. Polarizer on, as you can see, there's a lot of kind of uh, the black rock reflection here. And then the sky, um, the sky in the background there, sort of cut that out. It's not very interesting. So I just want this part of the uh, image here. And for my settings, I'll, uh, it's uh, eight seconds, F18, ISO 52. So I'm gonna take that shot for you. Once I get it on back button focus, actually I'm gonna drop it down a little bit. Maybe five seconds, eight's too long. See how that looks. It's not gonna be an amazing shot, but I'm gonna work the shelf, see what I come away with. So I'll chuck this image up for you now. And um, I'm at the end of the shelf, or the point, so I might work my way back. Yeah, I think there could be a shot to have, to have over here. But yeah, just out and about, having a bit of fun, a bit of sunrise fun. Okay, here's that image. So there is a cloud out here uh, and it's actually catching some of that uh, sunrise over the horizon there and it's turning pink. So I'm not sure too sure about the composition here. Um, got these rock shelf leading you out. I would like to get over to the rock shelf but it's a little bit dangerous and I don't feel like uh, falling in this quite powerful surf. So I've got this rock shelf leading out and there's just one clump of clouds just there that are catching pink. So um, I'm going to set up my camera here and uh, try and get a shot of that. Yeah, so I've set it up. Um, I'm going to classic two thirds, two thirds uh, foreground, one third sky, classic seascape comp. Um, it's the only bit of cloud that's actually catching pink. So um, hopefully this one works and it's gonna be probably the only image of the morning with sky in it. So yeah, let's see how this uh, comes out and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So yeah, I've got this leading line of this rock shelf coming out and then all this uh, swell action up here and then whoa, and then that, that's that cloud I'm after um, back there. So we'll see how that looks. 2.5 seconds, F18. And I'll fire a few shots off. I'm not sure if it looks better with the surf coming in or dragging back out, but I will play around with that. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. See if I can get one more image for the morning and I'll call it a, call it a morning. Might go a longer shutter speed actually. See how that looks. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap it up there, go and, uh, go and do my usual routine, uh, ritual and get a coffee. Uh, not sure how the images are going to turn out, maybe the one with the cloud, pink cloud, uh, could be my favourite from the morning, um, I'll wait till I get home. Uh, as for the abstract shots, you know, it's always good to push, push your boundaries and uh, have a go at something different. Uh, yeah, so, you know, appreciate you guys watching, liking, commenting and subscribing. Uh, until I see you next week, guys, on the next adventure, have a good week. Peace out, cheers. Have a good one, guys. See you later.